Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Edgewood. If you have an Edgewood book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. Today, we're going to be on page 73, chapter 11, and the title is A Glass of Polka Dots. Fred took the glass of polka dots and poured them out onto a piece of paper. Yes, he thought, they are polka dots. Polka dots are not just a bunch of dots. They form a pattern. They are in formation. What mathematicians do is play. One way that they play is to find patterns. Sometimes the things they discover feel almost like magic. For example, take any old figure with four sides. There is a parallelogram hidden inside if you know where to look. First, find the midpoints of each side. Midpoints are exactly in the middle of each side. Then connect the dots. You get a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel lines. In Life of Fred Geometry, we prove you always get a parallelogram. Fred took 10 of the polka dots and put one on each finger. Some children like to do that with olives, but Fred didn't have any olives. Then he stuck those 10 into a single row on the side window of the bus. Then he arranged those 10 dots into two rows of five. Then he moved the 10 dots to make five rows. He tried three rows, but it didn't come out evenly. Fred put the 10 dots into two piles. Six and four equals 10. When the two-year-old saw Fred having fun with the polka dots, she ran to the back of the bus to play. Where's the mouse? Fred asked nervously. Oh, I don't know. I think I lost him, she answered. She pointed to the dots and said, share them. When two-year-olds talk, they sometimes leave words out of their sentences. When she said, share them, she might have meant, would you please share the dots with me? She might have meant, give those dots to me. Questions and commands are two of the four kinds of sentences. When she gets older, she will learn about all four sentence patterns. Statements, declaratives, Robin had an 18-inch combination pizza. Questions, interrogatives, would you like some of it? Commands, imperatives, wash your hands first, shouts, exclamations. Ouch! The water was too hot. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and get a sheet of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one, with the dots. Fred had shown that six plus four equals 10. Write all the pairs that add to 10. Number two, here are 100 boxes. 30% of them are black. What percent of them are white? Number three, is 2,986,885 one number or seven numbers? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Join me here tomorrow for chapter 12. Bye for now.